So gender bending is a very eclectic genre. You can enjoy it for tons of reasons. You can enjoy it because you like the drama. You know, it's it's like a fish out of water story. You can enjoy it because you're trans and you want some wish fulfillment. You know, that's probably too. Some escapism can help sometimes. Sometimes you can enjoy it because you think <laughs> a man doing girl things is funny. You can enjoy it for fetishistic reasons too. You know, that's, that's something I used to think that a fetish was something that was wrong, but that you really like for some reason. But no, the thing, the definition of fetish is that something very, very incredibly specific that is out of the ordinary that can cause you arousal or fascination or whatever. And you know, that's valid too. That's valid too. I and mean, it's not I'm saying that all gender bender stories are inherent inherently fetishistic. That's the first time I said inherently out loud. It's just one of the many ways that people can engage with the genre. The way that you can treat the story, the concept itself, is practically endless. And to, and to me it has been interesting to see the evolution of the genre from you know those weird visual novels from the 2000s where it's just turned into a girl non-consensual encounter uh, to the more recent things where there is a lot more people that can say yeah i'm trans and the story is about a trans person in this story so this is more open or more psychological rather than just sexual i guess and it has been interesting because even i have seen people that start writing a story saying this is just a fetishistic thing but then 10 years down the line they say no i'm trans so so the whole way you see the story changes yes this genre can change your life the truth is that i am oversimplifying to a dangerous degree here but the point is that this genre is interesting in its in its in its his, his, its history, content, and the way it explores identity. If there, if there is one thing that I like as much as the sciences of access, is the transformation, the deconstruction of identity. Yeah, I like DF. I was thinking of starting a brand new channel just for that, but but let's like I said let's let's do be uh, one video here. As a test run, I already have a section called specials where I can just dump stuff in a variety show fashion, so let's give it a try. This is a fun movie, but full disclosure, I'm going to go to say all the spoilers. So the, the, the only thing I think I can say without spoilers is that <laughs> Intense shit happens. Full movie. Okay, let's go with the spoilers. The skin I live in. Do you remember that 60s movie about a mad doctor that tries to fix his daughter's disfigured face by stealing the faces of other women? How, how was it called? Was Jail Sans Visage? This movie is the Sail Sans Spin, really. <laughs> So we have another mad doctor. Mad doctors, man, you gotta love them. So this doctor loses his wife and then loses his daughter. So he then takes the guy he saw messing around with his daughter and turns him into his wife by force. Yeah, this movie is just fucked up people doing fucked up things. <laughs> it's one of those movies that you say, man, everybody on the set must have felt really awkward on production. Like, really awkward. To Nobody learns anything, most people end up dead. The only person that survives, the protagonist, I'm not sure if he really learned anything at all because when, when he was doing the deed, he, 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 was, he, he wasn't really aware, he was, he, he was he taking drugs. So I don't know, I guess the, the message of the movie is don't do drugs because you don't know who might be watching. <laughs> Um, what, what? Why am I laughing? Why am I laughing? I, I just think it's a, an amusing film. What? Well, are you trying to ask me if I will ever force feminize a guy I got really angry with? No? 
Oh, and I'm 31. There is in this movie. He looks so evil. Man, he looks so evil. I love him. I love him in this movie. He, he, I think this this is his best role ever. Aside of the pussy thing. Did you know that he does both English and Spanish and Spain Spanish in in, in for for that character alone? I, I think that's pretty neat when when characters can when actors can do that kind of thing. Oh, and the sorrow because come on. He's always going to be the sorrow for me. He was just great. I don't remember that much of the movie, but he was great in, in as the sorrow. Yeah. Great actor. It's a bit of an awkward film to watch, but as Force Fan Power Revenge Fantasies go, I would probably say this this is one of the best ones. This one. I have I have yet to find another film that fits the bill like that, but it, it's good. 7 out of 10. Why 7 out of 10? I don't know, I guess I guess at that ending, like, it fades out in the middle of a conversation. That's just awkward, man! And when you change your face, and when you change your face and your body, the most succulent parts is to reveal your identity. The, the anagnosis, the Scooby-Doo part, you know what I mean? They say, ha 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 ha, the story is done, goodbye, and I'm like, what are you talking about, man? The story's just starting. But as I know, it's a great film. It's a, it's a fun film. It's, a, it's kind of a weird choice to make, I guess, for a first gender pendant review. I guess, but aside from underground niche communities and, you know, anime, it's just, this, this, the whole gender bending thing is not that mainstream. It's not that well known, I guess. So, so, so I wanted to review something that at least people knew. Inside Mari next. And that's it. I hope that you enjoy it. I, I did put it, I put my family to watch it. I said, let's just watch a horror movie. Just watch a horror movie. And, and it, you, just, you, you should have seen their reactions, man. It's just so good. It's so good. You should have seen their faces there. <laughs> it's great. It's great to see the reactions of people as they watch the film. So it's like, watch it and then watch it with someone else. It's a lot funnier that way. Anyway, I hope that you uh, have fun and uh, go ahead and stay safe. Take care of yourself, friend. Stay safe.